Testing. Are we there? Can everyone hear me? If you can hear me, uh, it's been a hot minute since I've last streamed. I feel like I stream only once a year. Also, there's a bit of a delay in uh, the stream quality. Not stream uh, quality, but just like, you know, I'm probably like 10, 20 seconds behind. But yeah, uh, hey guys, what's up? Been a, been a good while. <laughs> I hope, um, really hope you guys are all in good health. Uh, I hope 2021 is a kinder year so far compared to uh, 2022. I mean, uh, 20, 2020 rather. Whoop, I mean, it's mixed up. Wow. That's what isolation does to you, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, so. Uh, where are my thoughts? My thoughts. Uh, I should have wrote down some notes or something, man. Um, I guess the, the first thing we're going to go over. Uh, hopefully that music isn't too loud. Is it too loud for anyone? Shouldn't be. Hope you guys can hear me over the music. Give me one second. Let me get some things ready. This is the most amateur stream uh, I've ever done. Thank you, Party Swine, for the $5 donation. Greatly appreciated, bud. Uh, Party Swine here actually wrote out most of the dossier for the Danopithecus suggestion for Lost Islands. So a lot of those ideas are his, and I fully agreed with all of them pretty much. Um, but yeah, let me... Like this. Hey, there we go. Okay, yeah. Um, before we go forward, I want to say, um, regarding voting for this, only vote for Diamondpithecus if you guys agree with the suggestion, if you think it's a good idea, if it's something you really want to see in the game, um, definitely go ahead and vote for it. Don't vote for it just because I'm a YouTuber and you like my content or you want to make me happy or like, like, while well, I appreciate that, that support, of course, like, you know, don't feel obligated to vote for it just because of my suggestion. Um, and feel free to vote for whatever you want. If you want to vote for Ceratosaurus, feel free to. If you want to vote for Kakarontosaurus, you want you know, Kakaro back in the game, or in the game rather. Um, vote for that. Tanistrophius. There's a whole bunch, like, on these pages. I'm not going to go through all of them, but there's, like, a lot of good suggestions there. Um. Dino Ethereum is one I, I like a lot, actually. So if you want to vote with Dino Ethereum, go right ahead. Um, and I'm not going to stop people from voting up Arc Editions. If you really want Arc Edition features in the mod, in the game, I'm, I can't stop you. But personally, I won't support this um, creatures in this list that have been already created by Mother Gruga123. Um... It's just because I feel like it'd just be a waste of a vote, and Gruga One Two Three worked very hard on, very hard on implementing those creatures into the game, and I feel like it's just not fair to him. People are thinking that, oh, if Acrocanthosaurus wins, um, it's gonna be Gruga's Acrocanthosaurus that gets to the game. That's not a guarantee. There is no guarantee that's gonna happen. There's no guarantee that Wildcard's version of Acro is gonna be identical to, um. Garuga 123's uh, version in um in in the mod. And if I remember correctly too, the the page for Acro just got updated. Yeah, the original post has been edited to edit sorry. The original post has been edited by request of the original mod owner of our conditions. The original post referenced a creature designed by Garuga 123. Feel free to make suggestions based on ability, size, etc. But none of these suggestions should come from the Arc Editions mod. Please do not use Arc Editions reference material. So, do not listen to anyone that's saying, Oh, you know, uh, it's going to be the Arc Editions acro in the game. That's not going to happen. There's no guarantee that's going to happen. There's no guarantee that Wildcard will make the same acro. There's no guarantee that Wildcard will buy the acro off of Garuga and implement it into the game. Um, But yeah. Um, back to Dinopithecus, which is my suggestion. 
Uh, once again, I want to give a shout out to Party Swine as well um, for this whole dossier that he wrote. This dossier right here was from an artist. Um, I remember seeing this a while ago and I was very impressed by it because like even at first I was like a giant baboon really and then I'm reading it and I'm looking at the artistic interpretation. The artist's name is uh, J Massey, I believe. I have I linked his DeviantArt account in the description of this post. So if you want to check him out, he has a lot of great fan-made dossiers. But like I feel like his style, like he that's perfect. Like that's exactly what I want Dan Pithicus to look like in game. Like that is fantastic looking. Now I know people are like, oh, it's just a big monkey, or you know, people are voting for for them, you know. Monkey memes are funny and everything, don't get me wrong, but um I thought of it kind of like a commando mount, and I had this idea for it. <laughs> Bear with me on this, please. Um I had an idea for it to wield firearms. Yeah. I want the monkey to be able to wield a gun, basically. Uh basically when you tame your Dinopithecus, you have an option to have it train to use a certain kind of weapon you know that could be like a pistol or it could be an assault rifle or whatever probably not tech i think tech would be a little bit overpowered but you know it, it would only be able to spec into one weapon type you wouldn't be able to change it once you made that confirmation on your down pithecus itself um of course it looks like a baboon not a baboon a uh, mandrill with a baboon tail uh I, like, I think mandrills in general are very cool looking animals. Like, they're very, like, fierce looking. They have really cool facial colorations. But yeah, like, if this is what you guys want, if you guys want to show support for it, um, feel free to vote it up. You know, if you, if you don't want down Pithecus, that's cool too. I'm not gonna say, you know, it's, it's not everyone's cu cup of tea. That's totally fine. I'm not gonna... Yeah, be like, oh, you didn't vote down Pithecus? How could you? Like, we joked about it and stuff like that, like, here and there. But, you know, like, I'm never serious. At the end of the day, it's your vote. If you like it, you win. If you don't like it and you don't win, then you win as well. Like, you know. Like, at the end of the day, too, like, even if Dino Pithecus doesn't win the poll results, um, I am pretty much happy with whatever we end up getting. Uh, you know, like, I don't really want Serato or Kakarantosaurus to win because we, I think we already have a lot of big carnivores in game, but I love both those dinosaurs, especially Kakarantosaurus. Like, it's one of my favorite dinosaurs ever. Like, oh, my dinosaurs are my favorite. Who am I kidding? But, uh, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a kerfuffle right now with Ark because Wildcard was saying that you weren't supposed to you know influence the results of the poll like if you had like a you know if you're promoting it on like twitter or youtube but now it's okay to do that so i feel more comfortable with doing this and i want to just again like that's why i'm making it clear like don't vote for this just because i want it vote for it if you want it that's the most important thing um yeah, but like, you know, my, my suggestion isn't any better or worse than other people are on here. Uh, there's a lot of... What's another one? Titanium Mirror McQueen. This is done by Shockle. That's an awesome suggestion. He made this dossier himself. Drew it up, rolled it out, and everything. Like, that's a ton of effort that went into this. Also a really good suggestion. Yeah, it... If it doesn't end up being like a tame, like if they ever do like this in the future, like I wouldn't mind it as like a mini boss creature. That'd be really cool. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of like all my thoughts really on the um, Lost Island creature submissions. And I'm going to look through some of your comments here because I've been reading this off and it's kind of hard to read this and then read uh, your comments. Um, oh yeah, I guess you guys are wondering what's happening with Paleoarch as well. Uh, Paleoarch isn't dead. I know it's been a while since I mentioned that... Oh, excuse me, just adjusting myself here. Get a bit more comfortable. Um, I know I mentioned previously that Burn Fang was due out in February. Um, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get it out. It was a combination of, you know, Arc Burnout, 
for filming. Um, I had a lot more work coming in, and yeah, you know, I do a lot of video commission work and stuff, and that's my primary source of income. And while I love making YouTube videos, I don't really have a lot of time for it, and it doesn't pay like an incredible amount. So I've been fo focusing on that, and you know, exploring other career opportunities as well. So I should move my mic a little bit closer to my face because it's probably uh, not too loud. Um, was, where was I? Yeah, uh, but yeah, Paleo Arc is still going on. I'm currently working on a mod for it uh, with the help of some other talented people. Um, shout out to the guys over at the Sunken World mod that's under development. They've been helping me along. They've been doing a fantastic job. Um, as well as uh, some input from other modders on the, in the community, like Garuga has been helping me a little bit. Uh, Pod Creature, the person that created the um, Dino Hoarders DLC. Wonderful person, very talented, very, very talented individual. Along with Gruger123, who also has helped out a little bit with this mod too. Um, I couldn't thank them enough for this. Uh, what's, what is your thoughts if they add Shant like from the Isle? I'd be okay with another Hadrosaur personally. I would love another Hadrosaur, especially one like Shantungasaurus, like that's huge. Like, I know Ark generally upsizes a lot of their creatures. So, imagine how big an Ark Shantungasaurus would be. It'd be like Giga size, probably, or something crazy. I don't know. <laughs> probably not. Hopefully not. I wouldn't mind if it's like bigger than a Rex, but not like Giga Colossal. Oh, I got 116 viewers. That's awesome. Also, yeah, thanks for your full. Yeah, I, I like the Sportpedia music because it's just very, you know, I played the hell out of Sport. I probably have like couple thousand hours playing it when I was a kid. Um, God, that was like over a decade ago now. Holy shit. Wow, time has flown. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, Shintunga Source would be cool. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Dinotherium? Dragon, I know that's you. <laughs> uh, I'll bring up Dinotherium again. Um, I love Dino Ethereum. Uh, like, it's cool to me that, like, prehistoric elephants are just very, de like, I guess, like, pachyderm is the proper term. I don't know. Uh, I'm not too well versed in mammals. Where is it? Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's currently sitting at 193 votes, which is really good. Um, it's a very unique looking creature, too. You know, it looks like an elephant, but not exactly. It has a cool, the tusks that come out the bottom of the jaw. You know, it's basically like a living siege engine. Um, that's a really cool creature. And there's your little sketch you did up there as well. Yeah, I mean, this is another great suggestion, guys, in the community. I would recommend voting this one up. You know, if you want it, obviously. You don't have to if you don't want it. No pressure. But... Um, yeah, uh, any more questions, guys? Anything at all? I'll be answering questions for the next, uh, 30 minutes or so while the stream is going. Then I gotta get back to work. Thoughts on Mayasaur? Um, I don't think I actually look at that one fully. Um, wasn't there rumors that Mayasaur was gonna be in the game originally? As, like, a, uh... I think it was one of the dinosaurs that they were like thinking about, but was ultimately scrapped. I can't remember. Saichina. Um, I haven't, like I said, I haven't given a whole lot of, like I haven't read over a lot of these guys. But yeah. Did I vote for shit? I didn't. No. No vote for that myself. I'm not sure what good it will do because it's kind of far behind. But hey, whatever, a little bit helps. And keep in mind, too, like, Arc 2 is on the horizon. Um. So I would. I would suspect that a lot of these creatures that show up on Wildcard's radar, based on popularity, some of these guys, you know, I'm not, not definite, obviously, but, 
you know, if Wildcard looks at how popular some of these volume results are, they might implement some of these creatures into Arc too. Like, say, like, Dino Kyrus doesn't get in to this new DLC, right? But, like, you know, there's always a, a potential chance for Arc 2 for it to come in. I don't see, you know, I see that as a, a possibility. Yeah, I, I feel like Hadrosaurs in Arc. I mean, there's only, like, the Parasaurolophus, and then you have Iguandon, which isn't a Hadrosaur. It's, like, a Iguanodont. You know. Not had to relate, but they're kind of similarly built. But like you know, there's not a lot of ornithopods in general. Ornithosaurus, yeah. Ornithosaurus would be pretty cool. Thoughts on the bison? Um. Also, that's also a really good suggestion. There's no real like cattle in arc. So this is actually Aurochs, right? Pretty much. Is that what this technically is? I can't exactly remember off the top of my head. I apologize. Um, you know, I also uploaded this one. Uh, also a really good suggestion. Like I said, like a lot of these are all good suggestions from like very, you know, knowledgeable and passionate people in the community. Um, you know, if I was in charge of Arc, I'd add them all in myself. I'm not. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the Jurassic World Dominion footage? Um, I love it. Um, I know there's a lot of people saying like, oh, you know, the Giga is 100% accurate and, you know, other stuff um, concerning like dinosaurs that didn't coexist at the same time being in that footage. But um, it sells the point very, very well. Uh, you know, just, you know, showing off, like, you know, dinosaur times and everything. You know, despite, despite the, um, what's the word book? Anachronism? Anachronism? I can't remember. But yeah, that's, you know, it is, it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Yeah, I would, I would be upset if they were to, like, show, like, something like prehistoric humans with dinosaurs. Then that's where I'd, I'd draw the line. Like, no, nah, that, 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 that didn't happen. <laughs> but um yeah Jurassic World Dominion looks great based on that footage alone uh, I'm very excited to see what they do with it personally I'd like to see the Dinosuchus from the Ark Editions mod because Sarko in game just sucks uh, I, I don't know here's the thing if, if they were to take Ark Edition creatures and import them into the game is that we have no idea what wild card would strip from those creatures because of balance reasons uh you know i i yeah you know, I, I don't know how garuga would feel about it specifically but in my case too like i i like i'd be honored if wild if i was like with wild card took a creature i made and imported into the game and like bought off me but at the same time i feel like you know like that would be my baby i wouldn't want like uh meddling with it I feel like mod creatures should stay like should stay mod creatures. Plus, I got plans of that Dinosuchus too in the future Paleo Arc episode coming up. So, look at Tsukumimus. Yeah, here look at Tsukumimus real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and suggest another spinal sword in the game. Baryonyx and spinal swords have proven effective use on land and water and are very beloved by the community in my experience. I think this one should be added as a stepping stone between the two. However, Sukumimus should be specialized in the collection of prime fish, leech blood, and other higher end water resources. Better at catching fish than its cousins by being more mobile in water than on land. It could be a more tanky alternative of Spinosaurus, but is entirely immune to the ne negative effects of many of the swamp and ocean creatures of the, of the arc. As an added mechanic, when it's water should when in water should provide a buff to all other allied aquatic creatures and players around it. Giving them better defense, slower stam depletion, and or increased damage. A sort of command boat while fighting in the oceans of the arc. When on land, it shouldn't be as fast as a barry. In fact, much slower. However, it could have a sort of turret mode where it stands on the shores of a river or lake to passively catch fish, throwing their carcasses on the ground next to survivors to gather. I don't know how realistic that would be for wildcard to implement, just because I don't know if they have like that AI functionality to do that. 
And I feel like Barry and Suko, I mean, Barry and Spino already are good enough. But I wouldn't be opposed to Suko Mimus either. I like Suko. You know. What some other questions you guys have? Um, does that say giant killer baboon? Yes, that is actually my suggestion. Um, Diamondpithecus was a prehistoric species of baboon. Uh, as far as I know, it could be, or it could just be like a baboon, like monkey. Um, you know, <laughs> not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, that's my suggestion. It's basically a, a commando monkey that you would ride on, and it could wield a gun. Uh, Leviathan, the ultra whale. This creature would be a beast in the ocean among the largest creatures in the game. Its bite would deal mass damage by a slower rate. It would have a charge and ram function that would decimate boats and maybe apply a slow slash stun. It would take cannons on a raft to knock it out due to its robust skull, then be gained by feeding it using Christo tentacles. Maybe alpha squid eyes are worth more affinity. Also, let's keep the size of football. That's also a good suggestion. Um, I guess it really depends on if Lost Island has like a very in-depth ocean biome. Um, you know. Yeah, guys, as far as like the whole controversy goes with the um, the pterosaur and the other YouTuber uh, Nexus, um, don't don't be spraying hate in the chat. All right, let's let's be above that. Like, is it? You know, it, it is what it is. Um, you know, I and again to reiterate something too that just was announced. Wild card is. Uh, apparently deciding for themselves of the top 10 which ones they're which one they're gonna implement um, yeah so it's up to them ultimately it seems so I guess we we vote to get in the top 10 and then wild cards gonna choose from there which ones which one they're gonna implement I would love for them to implement like more than one because there are a couple of really good ones in the top 10 but yeah this is gonna go on until uh, July 23rd, 24th. So, we're not out of the woods just yet with this. This is going to be a bit of a nightmare, I think. I hope it doesn't get worse, but... I'm a little bit pessimistic. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is, guys. You know? Well, again, that that, that miracle, Mr. Dummy, is... Um, that, it's, it's up to wild card. You know, if they, if they decide to implement it. I hope they do. I would love for it to be it, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, I... I'm not sure how I feel about Leviathan in the game, but... Hey, it's, you know, it's cool. You know, give enough vote, why not? Show my support. I know Gorgon Opposite is one that people have been, like begging for her ages um you know uh ever since like arc first launched i remember the threads like oh what dinosaur would you like to see in arc what prehistoric creature and every time like gorgon Opsid was at the top of that list um i know garuga himself wants to do gorgon Opsid or gorgon ops whatever you know so we'll see it's, it's kind of funny because I was looking at the Shadow Main that came out for Genesis 2 and it's very similar. Um, like, I feel like you could take that and just reskin it as a um, Gorgon Opposite, like, because its animations are really good. But yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the end Gorgon Ops, I guess. <laughs> I apologize to the Spanish speakers in chat right now. I can't actually read Spanish. Uh, I used to um, be able to understand a little bit of it, 
when I took Spanish class in high school, but I, I kind of lost all that knowledge. <laughs> Connor says, okay, this is cool and all, but think about an ant DLC where we're able to have our own ant hills and have them gather resources for us and produce cannon fodder daily. What do you think about Terreno Titan? Um, it's just another Kakarontosaur like Acro and Kakarontosaurus and Giga. I don't really see the point of implementing it. I feel like if they were to go for another Kakarontosaur, it'd probably be Acro or Kakaro itself. Yeah, Tanny's Trophies is also a really interesting one. Um, this guy made a whole video, uh, you know, showing why he thought it was good, why he thinks it's a good idea. Oh, he included the video from Trade Explainer. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, this guy did his research for sure. And I believe that's probably a custom dossier he made himself. Yeah, I like it. Like, once again, like all good suggestions overall. Who is going to be a second mystery dino? Um, I wish we knew. I've discussed it with like a couple of friends already. Um, I think our mystery dinos are already like on this list, at least within the first page or two. So we'll see. I hope it's not like, one of Garuga's creatures already, like uh, you know, like the same species again, because he was doing Armaga, and. Then they come out with their own Armaga, and, you know, he just outright canned it. It's, it's a shame. How do you pronounce that? Saichina? Is it Saichina? Am I pronouncing that correct? I wouldn't mind another Ankylosaur because Ankylosaurus is literally all by himself. That's all we got. So, like, either an Ankylosaur or like a Nodosaur, like Edmontonia, would be cool. Wouldn't mind that at all. What questions have we got from the uh, viewers here? Any other questions? Either arc related or anything really. Ask me anything. Preferably dinosaurs because, you know, in a dinosaur mood tonight. Look at the lower submissions. Uh, the last Napoleon in the first deal. I like the ideas people suggesting where the male and female have like different meshes, like a, like a diff different models overall. Like the male would have a mane, the female doesn't. They did that recently with the uh, shadow mane. The males and the females look very different from each other. Go to the last page and see who's there. Okay. Let's see what happens. Land before time auditions have had a second. <laughs> not just any dinosaur just just little foot just strap little foot in our <laughs> um anything on paleo arc series yes johnny garcia um i gotta get episode nine out nine Episode 9, Part 2, which is Fern's Fang. Uh, I'm hoping to start working on that very, very soon. Um, I can't give an ETA. I don't want to give any more ETAs at the moment because life's unpredictable. My work schedule is unpredictable. And I don't... Um, I don't want to make a promise I can't keep. But, you know, it will happen. 
that's the next episode. After that is Devil's Maw, which is a uh, a T Rex Dinosuchus focused episode that I think a lot of you guys are gonna be you know, you're gonna really really enjoy for sure. What other questions we got in chat, people? Steps, would you like an on the fly translation? I'm better at Portuguese, but I could just yeah, if you don't mind. Yes, Ash GC. It was it's to show people my suggestion, which is Dinopithecus. Um if people agree with it and want to vote it up, they're more than welcome to. Uh you know, of course, like, you know, anyone else, if you think there's some good suggestions here too that I'm going through, uh feel free to vote this up as well. Uh Teradostro. Let's look at this guy real quick. Teradostro is a pterosaur known for having hundreds of teeth in its bill that act as the comb possibly filter tube. And notice how we still don't have a viable fire that can traverse both water and air. Though much smaller in real life, the Arc Teradostro could be a viable piscivore known for the aforementioned ability. This strong suit would come with major downsides. Teradostro could have very poor health and or weight while maintaining mobility possibilities. Its base water speed shouldn't be that fast, and maybe it can get fast by barrel rolling through the water to gain momentum. Where that rock tricks the man garments can swim, but they glide and boost rather than fly. Yeah, Dostra is a neat one. There's nothing really else like it. In game, though, we already have um, uh, Pelagornis, but I feel like there'd be some overlap with that. But hey, you know, it's there to vote it up. What do you think about the prehistoric beast mod? Um, that's the one made by Krista. Yeah, uh, she's been improving a lot. Um, you know, her her models at first were you know they need some you know they need some work, uh, but you know, like with anyone that really cares about their, you know, their craft, uh, she's been improving a lot. Um, her models are looking better and better with every update. Uh, she also made a uh, a bone T Rex saddle. It's a T-Rex that's covered in bone armor that you can put on your Rex. Uh, I commissioned her recently to do that, and it looks really, really good. Nexus had the post removed for a while, and the community told Ark that it was unfair, so they put it back without the votes, and it got to 3,000 votes in two minutes. Yeah, I, I don't know Nexus. Um, I, This is the first time I've heard of him before... Um, yeah, this happened but that's actually good to know uh that he does feel a bit bad about it you know i i don't want hate against him like it was i pissed at first when i saw that yeah i was um but you know like uh it, it's like when i first announced the down i was like everyone go vote it up like you know i didn't realize the influence i had myself um and that's why Down Pithecus kind of shot up at first by like 30, 40 votes because I had people on my ARC server vote it up. Uh, you know, I, I felt a little bit guilty about that because it does, you know, it is voter manipulation regardless of, you know. But hey, what can you do? Now, now Wild Card says it's okay, so, you know. Hey, off topic, but when will Path of Titans videos come out? Hey, did the Loudmouth King get freed or is it still tamed? Um, Path of Titans videos are scheduled for the for the future uh i will be doing a little series on them like just little standalone episodes probably about like eight to ten minutes long i'm hoping to do a narration with those very documentary-esque um and as for the loudmouth king barbados uh yeah he's coming back he's still tamed uh he is coming back for sure if you come across my Edmontosaurus regalis post mind tell me what you think yeah sure okay Read that off. Uh, where is that? Is on the first page here? What do I search? Is it? 
and Montefiore stand to this Celsior. Montefiore style will see one person has no special effects. Fiber and thatch will be required the same one, but a level block of 45 will be present in degree of that. While that block is fucking wild. All the other hatchet stores in the island have many predators to worry about. The Montefiore's can ignore most threats due to its sheer size and power. Predators and Montefiore's have been seen taking down foes much bigger than themselves. Oh, thank you, Shape, for the $5. Bro, I know it's not going to happen, but I need my Ant Queen. It'd be cool. Hey, there's always Zark, too. You know. Science chat one second. Wait, no, that. Okay. Um that's the translations are in Discord I'm trying. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get them all. Yeah, I, I won't worry about translations for now. I'm sorry guys. I wish I planned this better. Of course you can always join the Discord. Um I have a Discord link in the description below. If you want to join, um, you know, for the Spanish speakers here in the chat, uh, if you want to join there and post, I can copy and paste in a translator. The Brachiosaurus is one that I, I personally don't want just because, again, it's not a Garuga creature. Um, you know, I, I don't want to override the one that we already have. I think our conditions does a great job of implementing that feature already in game. Oh, yeah, this. Let me look at that side chain that one real quick. See what that one's about. Uh... Yeah, apologies, Diego. I wish I, I wish we could cross that language barrier. I'm not that well versed in Spanish, unfortunately. Terribly sorry. Wait, how do I stretch again? I forget. Ah. Oh. Okay. Let's see what we get. Did I spell that right? I probably didn't spell that right. Give me one second. Let me just take care of something in chat real quick. Uh, I didn't spell Saichina right, did I? <laughs> Is it on. Wait, hold on. Okay, let me look at my phone real quick and just, uh... Oh, yeah, we were spelling it wrong. Okay. Saichina. There we go. Dichania, a mobile tank that can break bones and, sh and sh shot cannon shells. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. This is. Oh, this one doesn't have any of those. That's sad. Attention to passive damage to creatures when being attacked. Yeah, I would love some more cows or love in this game for sure.
But yeah, um, like I said, guys, too, I have to start getting back to work on something. Uh, so any more questions at all? Not related to the dossiers themselves. Any questions, guys? Any more questions at all? Yeah, Arc 2 should be coming out next year at some point. Wait, we don't know when. I think probably June next year because they want to capitalize on the Jurassic World Dominion hype like they did with the first film. Do you take Croc steps? Uh... You mean like, do I tame them in the arc? Uh, not really, no, honestly. I mean, I, I do have like Dinosu uh, Ruger's Dinosuchus, that's it, really. You too, Trike, take care. The Rex Bone Style was used in your Genesis 2 video, but will, will we see more of it? Yes, it's in the Paleo Arc mod that's coming out. All right, yeah. Okay, we're gonna start winding down here, guys. Um, yeah. Any anything else at all? Speaking of switch, what are your thoughts on the arc switch? Um, I am. I'm sorry that anyone who bought arc on switch because the game is just not supported on there at all. Uh, but yeah. Um, yes, I've heard of the Sunken World. I'm actually going to be doing a trailer for them. Uh, I gave them a shout out earlier in this video. Uh, they are helping me with the Paleo Arc mod itself, doing the heavy lifting for me. Because I don't know how to blueprint script at all. <laughs> what well, other than the Baboon would you want? Um, hmm. Other than the Baboon? Uh, I don't know. There's too many. That I, I really can't narrow down. The baboon's the one I want the most, because you know, my suggestion, I, that's the feature I want really. But like any of these guys, uh, you know, disregarding the ones that are, that are already made by Garuga123, I'd be happy with. But yeah, um, that's it for, uh, for now guys. So I'm going to be ending the stream here in a minute. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, Thank you for your questions. Thanks for watching. Uh, and yeah. Uh, hopefully I can get another cinematic out soon. I got something special planned for Paleo Arc next month. Uh, it's been a work in progress for the last two months or so, but it's basically like an anniversary tribute slash, you know, a big, um, big update video on what's going to be happening with the series going forward. Uh, remember to join my Discord as well. Link in the description. Uh, that's where I'm mostly active. Way too active, honestly. <laughs> but yeah. Um, have a great night, everybody. And take care. Be well.